so two kinds of racking uh, mechanical which means that when you set screwed everything in this uh, your X carriage will go up here your X carriage wasn't perpendicular to your Y um, I'm sorry your X extrusion wasn't perpendicular to your Y extrusions the other kind is belt induced where you tighten one belt way too tight so that the belts themselves are throwing it um, let's see here off kilter so you're getting an angle here how do you test for racking there's two ways to test it one is it better than the other I, I think so the first way is to I'm going to keep going back and forth here is to put your tool tie in the middle so let's see if we can back up here in the middle and you take one finger this one right here and you just push in the back and you just pull it forward if you see your tool head as you're doing this you see your tool head start going like this right or on the other side like this if it's doing like a zigzag thing coming in going back out or if it just keeps going like this you're racked that's one way to do it the other way is to take it all the way forward okay put a hand here and take your other hand and bounce it right so you can see that that's a little bit of racking that's more belt induced for my case but it's okay it's not too bad but if you get something where it's you're 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 like it, you hit it and it bounces a lot okay you're you're racked but this is only on this side so the other thing you do is maybe this side's fine right if you're holding this you got to hold this one because you want to see what you're doing is you're seeing if this gantry is angled again right if it's angled so then if this side if you're holding this side and you're testing this side and this side's fine then what you got to do is you got to hold this side down next and then you test this side does this one bounce right chances are one may or not may not bounce now you do this first this kind of test first with the belts loosey-goosey so loosey-goosey the one finger you'll see okay in its course of travel is it moving okay is it is it doing one of the, is it doing the zigzag thing then once again loosey-goosey belts you do this right this is how you're checking from for mechanical racking do i get a bounce so you may not get you may get this coming in, but you may not get the bounce, right? Or you may, this may come straight, but then you'll get a bounce mechanically. So that's the first thing you do. Then you do the belts, right? 150, uh, let's assume, assume this is a standard idler, one screw, 150, half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, half turn, right? Turn and a half on each side opposites. You do the twang, right or you get your pf makes tool once again love this thing works great you sit it in here you measure uh 2.1 so you want 1.9 to 2.1 on this on the boing 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 thing you want um 1 point, 110 to 115 hertz over 150 to over 150 millimeters All right that's zero this is your zero effectively spot so you just push it back 150 about yay and you measure boing 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 right you get 110 and uh to 115 on each of these eat both sides and then you run belt shaper how what can happen right what can screw this up your belts need to be the same length so once you run one belt remember you do the very first thing you ran one belt then you measure it against the second belt right they have to be one to exactly the same amount of teeth if you've got two or three teeth extra or even one tooth extra on one of these belts your belt shapers will never really come in um, your input shapers may look fine but your belt shapers may never come in so you want the teeth exact the next thing you need is you need your teeth coming outside of both belts on the on the one side so this is the left side of the belt of the um, tool head you want them the same number so you want to see the same number of teeth so not the same length per se because the teeth come um you may have extra like, like a half of a millimeter extra belt you want the teeth so that you the teeth need to line up here and the same thing on the other side the teeth need to line up on the other side so once you have that you know that the belts are the exact same length and they have the same length come in um you know, the total length and you have the same kind of length coming out of the tool head and then your tension should come in um that's the general gist of what needs to happen uh okay